Hi and welcome. In this video, I'm going to walk through the steps of calculating Kaker in Power BI using the Apple growth figures between 2015 and 2022. This includes using two different ways of calculating Kaker using the Power DAX formula, as well as the ability to dynamically change the date range and automatically recalculate. If this is of interest to you, stay tuned. So briefly, what is Kaker? Well, it stands for Compound Annual Growth Rate and is a common financial metric used to measure consistent growth of a business over a set period of time. Now, I recently took part in the Maven Environmental Challenge where I looked at the growth of Apple's market cap, its revenue and its employee numbers between 2015 and 2022. I thought it'd be a good opportunity to share the methods that I used. As I mentioned at the start, there are two potential ways of calculating Kaker. One uses a growth rate, whereas the other just uses growth. And these are the respective equations that we will translate into DAX using the power formula. The syntax for it is actually quite easy to follow as we'll find out. Okay, and anyway, enough of the theory, let's jump in. Okay, so first I'm gonna load the data table. So I take the Apple metrics and load them in here. I just quickly load the table in. And if I look at the table, I just sort by fiscal year. And you see for 2015 through to 2022, I've got the revenue amount, the market cap value, and then also the number of employees that Apple have for each of those years. So if I go here, the first thing I want to do is add in a fiscal year, a year slicer. So if I drop the fiscal year in here, and I have between 20, 15, 2022, that's going to allow me to sort of dynamically look. So first of all, I'm going to create a new measure. Uh, this measure is for the minimum market cap. So the minimum year, sorry, market cap. So first I create a series of variables. One is min year, so it's the minimum fiscal year in our table. And then next I want to calculate a table. And so I've got to filter the metrics table and say we want the minimum fiscal year. Okay, so this is going to return like a one row. And then you just want to call it a sum x value. So the sum x for the market cap will give us the market capitalization for that minimum year. Now we want to copy this and do it for the max. So previously it was 2015 was the minimum year. This is the maximum, which is 2022. So you want to create a variable for the maximum year. And then a table that filters that table for the max year. And then again, just simply return the sum of the market cap. And then following that, we want to calculate the Kager itself for the, the version one that we talked about previously. Um, so we want to again, create a series of variables here. Uh, so we have the growth factor rate. So what we're going to do is divide um, the market cap max year minus market cap min year divided by um, the min year, so the market cap for the min year. So that's going to give us our growth factor. Then we want the number of years that we're, we're covering, so that n that's in the calculation. So we want the maximum fiscal year minus the minimum fiscal year. So this means that it's um, dynamic for us here if we want to add in new years later on. Um, and then finally, we want to calculate the Kager. So this is where we use the power. We're using the number and the power. So first we put in the number value. So that's the one plus that growth factor. And then we hit a comma. And then our power factor, if you remember, is the one over the n. So it's one divided by the years. So our, our variable for the years. And then we close the brackets on that. And then don't forget, we have to add in a minus one. And then simply then we return the Kager value itself. So this is our, we want to format it first. So we want to show um, the KGAR as either a positive or um, negative percentage value. So we can just format it using um, the sort of standard formatting string um, calculation. <clears throat> so that's our version one. Now, if we want to create a version two, it's only a small sort of change. So we copy and paste, change this to version two. Um, and you remember it wasn't a, um, 
it wasn't a max versus minus min over min. It was just simply max over min. And then our growth, we didn't have a one plus. It was just a growth um, to that sort of power. So simple calculation, really. Now, if you want to see this in practice, we can drop in our Kager for the version one, Kager for the version two. And we simply change the layout to um, vertical just to see. So you've got two values here. We want to drop in a bit of a line chart to show over time, fiscal year, and the market cap. We want to see um, what's happening between those two years. Now we've got a sort of dynamic range where we can change the years here, 2016 or 2018 to 2020. We can see the market cap uh, Kager value changes um, depending on the selected years. So that's where we have this dynamic ability to ch change um, the Kager based on the, the selected values. So if we want to change, if we want to add in revenue and employees, all we have to do for each of those metrics is swap out market cap for revenue and employees. It's basically as simple as that. So you see there, we just changed for the Kager, the revenue for the years, for employees, again, just change the employees. Everything else is pretty constant. So it's a simple case of copying and pasting. Um, we want to just show those values here for revenue and employees. We drop in the Kager value for both. Again, swap over to vertical um, just to show them here underneath. Again, we just can drop in these simple um, line charts just to show um, give a visual on the, how the trends are working over time. Um, so we got those lines in there. And again, if we change our years dynamically, we can, it's, it updates to show what the Kager rate is for those um, time periods. So that is um, the nuts and bolts of it. It really is as simple as that. Um, let me know if you find this useful. Um, if you have any comments, uh, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.